questions for reflection. In our first reading, we heard a portion of the wonderful deliverance of the people of Israel from the Egyptians who were pursuing them in 600 chariots and more. This is the Exodus event, Exodus event. Not only is it a literal story of God's miraculous intervention on behalf of his people Israel, it's a symbolic framework for understanding how we have been delivered from sin and death through baptism as Christians. I want to focus our attention, however, on the different reactions of the people and their leader, Moses. The people, when they saw the Egyptians approaching, succumbed to fear and not to genuine faith in the promises of the Lord. They said to Moses, was it for lack of graves in Egypt that you had to lead us out to die in the desert? What was the point of bringing us out of Egypt? Did we not tell you as much in Egypt? Leave us alone, we said. We'd rather work for the Egyptians. We prefer to work for the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Moses, the man of God, responded to the people, and I quote, Do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see what Yahweh will do to rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. Yahweh will do the fighting for you. All you need to do is to keep calm. Do we operate out of fear or faith? When we face trouble, do we turn to God or run? The sacred scriptures are filled with admonitions against this kind of fear. Yet the admonitions alone will not help us to overcome it. Only something stronger than fear, with the capacity to change us inside, can liberate us from its chains. And that something is someone. The one who understands all of our fears and has opened the way to overcoming them through and in the embrace of his redemptive love. That someone is Jesus Christ, who became like us in all things but sin, so that we can become like him. He understands our fears because in his sacred humanity he experienced them. He also enables us to overcome them. He removes the root and source of fear for those who choose to trust in Him. In our responsorial psalm, we again recount the Exodus, as do all faithful Jews today, as a sign of God's intervention and desire to form a people. We Christians recount it every time we baptize someone. The waters of the font are blessed and a reference is made to the Exodus. God has delivered us and will continue to deliver us but we need to turn away from fear and to exercise living faith. In the gospel selection appointed for today from St. Matthew, some scribes and Pharisees, the religious leaders of the day, asked Jesus to work a miracle to prove that he is the Messiah. They wanted a dramatic display. Instead of succumbing to their faithless challenge, Jesus makes reference to the prophet Jonah who was in the belly of a whale for three days. Jesus is also pointing to his own three days in the tomb before his glorious resurrection. Just as the Israelites in our first reading succumbed to fear, preferring slavery in Egypt, so these doubters demand a sign rather than committing themselves to the Messiah who was standing right before them. If we were to take a snapshot of our days, how often do we give in to fear? allowing it to prompt our choices rather than living faith in the Lord.